everyone welcome back to my channel um i'm coming at you with another vlog today i think my last video i don't think there would have been one uploaded in between so my last video was my 21st birthday vlog i hope you all enjoyed that and um, if you haven't checked it out yet i'll leave like a link to it down below i think um or up there one or the other one or the other um, but yeah, I'm coming at you with another vlog today and today's vlog is very exciting. So I want to see like a little introduction a bit first to sort of explain um, what I'm doing today, I guess. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, a lovely lady called Eloise who um, works at Cove Hair and Beauty in Brighton. Um, I think it's based in the Hilton Hotel um, on the seafront. Um, she got in contact with me over on my Instagram, which if you aren't following, I will leave the name of it here. We got chatting if she wanted to work together and collaborate on a couple of things. Um, so today I'm going down for a couple of treatments, which have very kindly been gifted to me from Eloise. Um, well, actually, today I'm going down for one treatment and I'll go down for the other treatment probably in October time because that's when like works best for in between like uni and stuff. So yeah, the treatments that we are collaborating on are um, dermal lip fillers and derma planning. So today I'm going to be getting my lips done, which is controversial because I know some people are like against this sort of thing, like cosmetic cosmetic procedures. Um, however, I personally don't really class this as a cosmetic procedure um, because one, I'm literally I'm only getting it done to like even out my top lip. That is literally what I'm getting done. I'm not getting like ex an excessive amount of filler. Basically, I'm literally getting like 0.5 mil. Um, and dermal fillers aren't so you can get a couple of different kinds the kind that I'm getting is done with hyaluronic acid I think it's called which is naturally occurring in the human body so it's not like I'm putting like random chemicals or anything like that into my body it's naturally occurring it's already in there um, so yeah so that is what I'm getting done today and like I say the only reason I'm getting it done is to even out my lips I feel like I shouldn't really have to explain myself because it's my body my choices etc basically I've got or I think I have quite an uneven face I probably overthink it because I look at myself too much um, and most people probably don't notice it however I do notice it and I especially notice it with my lips because I think I've got one side that's like bigger than the other so that is the reason that I'm getting it done um, and like I say this is, both of these experiences have kindly been gifted to me and today is the lip filler that I'm getting done um, and yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So like I say, Eloise is a, like she's a trained medic. She is completely trained in aesthetics, completely, like she knows what she's talking about basically. And because she's a medic, she's trained differently to um, like beauticians and things like that, it's like completely different careers basically. And I would much rather go with a medic who knows what she's talking about, knows the anatomy, like I can trust her to do a good job than with someone who may not be trained in, like may not be medically trained. Um, but that's just personal preference. I've done lots and lots of research into this and I've wanted it done for so long and I've not really spoken about it to anyone apart from my boyfriend and my best friend Soph because Soph, always want, Soph also wants it done. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited for it because like I say, my lips have been one of my biggest insecurities for the longest time. Now, like that and my lazy eye, uh, like I hate them both, but I can't really do much about my lazy eye. But the fact that I can do something about my lips, um, I don't see why I shouldn't. Anyway, enough of me rambling and trying to explain myself. I shouldn't really have to. I am 21 now and <laughs> if I want to get lip fillers um, and if I want to, you know, do something that is going to help my confidence, then I don't see why I should. Um, so yeah, I'm also not actually told anyone about this apart from my boyfriend because there's already been any reason, but I haven't really felt like I've needed to. If you follow me on Instagram, you might not actually because I've said on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now because I feel like I've just like word for me to do the camera. Um, I'm gonna get out of my dressing gown and get ready um, to drive down to Brighton. Um, I'm driving down instead of getting the train down because I'm, they're like advising not to get public transport obviously because of like what's going on at the moment. Um, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Um, I think the plan is to have, has someone really just started drilling? <laughs> really? So yeah, the plan is to have like a mini consultation before and um, I have already had one with Eloise. Um, and she's been really really brilliant in answering all my questions literally i've asked her questions like every single day since like agreeing to this um and she has been there to answer them so yeah we're gonna have a little consultation then the procedure and then afterwards we will um answer some questions because i asked her on instagram for a few questions i'll probably also do a q a on this at some point in the future um but yeah without further ado let's get going it's Hannah from the future and i just wanted to introduce the next clip so basically i had such a rush getting into Brighton. i didn't have time to film when i actually got to the clinic because i literally got there at 1 30 and my appointment was at 1 30. um however the next the next clip you are about to see is 
the procedure. So beforehand, I'll quickly just explain what happened. Me and Eloise had a um, like another. Um, oh my god, what's the word? Oh, I've literally forgotten the word. Consultation. We had like another mini mini consultation where we just went through what I wanted, what I wanted to enhance, even out, basically what my end goal was. Um, we had a little chat about the procedure, she walked me through the whole thing, um, so I made sure I knew what was going on. She said if I needed to stop at all, that she would. Um, she then applied the numbing cream, which you will see in the next clip. We left that on for a few minutes, um, and then the procedure, just, yeah, that's what happened. So if you are screamish, don't watch the next few minutes, because um, I will have time-lapsed it, so it will go fairly quickly. But like I said, if you're screamish and don't like that sort of stuff, just skip it. Um, the procedure itself was really quickly, for some reason I had in my head that it was going to take like over an hour um, and it was literally over within 15 minutes, um, it's a very quick procedure, you just have like um, two injections here and here and then two here and here, I also had a couple of my cupids bow just to like enhance that, um, but I will go into more detail when I do like a full lip filler um, Q&A, run down my experience kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to introduce the next clip because I didn't have time to do it there. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> let's see me get my lips done. Right, so it's currently the day after I've had my lips done. Um, I had such a palaver getting it to the place yesterday. Um, I Obviously it was a Saturday and for some reason I just didn't realise how busy the roads were going to be and a like, what should have been a half an hour journey took me an hour. Then the car park was full, like on Regency Square, so I couldn't get into the car park. And then I turned my car into a freaking wall. I went to park and I went like in, there's like a wall next to me and anyone who knows me will know that parking is not my forte. And I just scraped my car against the wall. Um, so to be fair, I'm pretty impressed that I went seven, well actually no, how when did I pass? Nine months now without doing anything like that. So, um, but yeah, that's besides the point. Once I got there, it was a brilliant like experience. My first time, I I couldn't have had a better first time basically. Um, but I just wanted to come on here. So you, I'll pop in some like before and afters now so you can see um, the difference that it's made. I only had 0.5 mil as I didn't want to go for the full one mil. However, I think that in a few weeks' time I'm going to go back for an extra 0.5 um, because they're currently swollen at the moment anyway, and I kind of like them as they are. But I'll see what they look like when they're healed. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just quickly give like a rundown of my experience. I am going to do like a whole separate video um, on my experience and answer any questions that you guys may have. In which case, if you do have any questions, like leave them in the comments and I will make sure to answer them like in my next video the first thing that i want to say is i cannot recommend eloise highly enough um to do the procedure and i had such an amazing first time so eloise is a trained medic um she's not a beautician or anything like that like she has a medical background which is why i felt so safe going to her um i knew she knew what she was doing um 
and if for whatever reason anything went wrong she's medically trained she knows how to like sort it out basically um so yeah first off thank you so much Eloise I will leave her all of her social medias down below um she works at Cove Hair and Beauty which is in the Hilton Hotel on Brighton Seafront I'll also leave those linked below um but anyone in the Sussex area or like surrounding area thinking about getting their like this procedure done procedure done um definitely check out Eloise like she's so super super talented and I'm so grateful that um you know I had this opportunity to get them done as a gifted experience by such a talented lady um so yeah it wasn't painful or anything at all I think that's the main question that people ask is was it painful it wasn't painful it was just uncomfortable like it's a sensation that you're not really used to um I have I tend to be okay with like um injections and stuff I've had tattoos and things and they've never hurt me in fact they sent me to sleep so this was nothing really they numb the lips as well um beforehand and if anything that was a weird sensation because I couldn't really feel my lips so if anything I disliked the numbing feeling more than I did the injecting um so yeah it was a really great experience it didn't hurt um I wasn't uncomfortable Eloise was really great in making sure that like I was fully comfortable she made it clear that if I needed her to stop like she would stop um and you know we could take a break or whatever um and yeah overall it was a really great experience I'm so happy with how they've turned out I was very very I don't know what the word is I basically didn't want fish lips um, and I just wanted to like enhance my natural lips um, even them out slightly and just keep the the natural shape uh, more than anything she's very big on that as well um, like enhancing your natural features and your natural beauty um, which again is why I was so trusting in going to her because I knew that she wasn't gonna like you know give me ma massive um, lips because I've got quite a small like frame and quite small features and if I had massive lips like it would just look ridiculous <laughs> so um yeah she was very understanding about that she you know I cannot fault my experience um at all and you would have seen me and Eloise we sat down and had like a little Q&A session um afterwards um and we just sort of answered like some of the most common questions that people were asking me on Instagram um and yeah I had such a great time like after the stress of getting down there um, it was a perfect experience and I cannot follow it at all and I'm so in love with my new lips um, but you probably can't even tell, tell it a difference to be honest with you my boyfriend when he first saw me he was like they're not even that different and because he was very I wouldn't say he was against it but he was when you think lip fillers you, you think Kylie Jenner or you think like the celebrities that have huge lips and that was never going to be me but obviously if that's all you're like conditioned to see that's what you think you're going to get um, and it it's so far from that so yeah I'm really pleased with them like I say anyone in like Sussex or anything um thinking about getting them done definitely check out Eloise um I'm gonna leave her, all of her social media down below and Cove Hair and Beauty their social media down below um and yeah it was a great day overall um and I think that is all I want to say there is probably so much that I want to say but which is why I want to make like a whole video on my experience um, and ask any questions that you have so like I say leave them down below if you do um and I'll ask out on Instagram again, so make sure you follow me over there um, for that. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, I had a great time filming it. I will be going back to Eloise, I think probably like October, November time, like when I'm back from uni for a weekend for my German planning session. Um, and I'll make sure to film that for you guys. And I might get a top up of my lips then as well. Um, we shall see. But yeah, I will see you all in my next video. I think my next video might just be the Q&A because it just makes sense to do them like one after another. Um, so yeah, hope you have enjoyed. Please do make sure you subscribe, like and all of that fun stuff and I will see you all in my next video.